We've talked about Nick Fuentes every now and then. The reason why I say this is that um, we get emails from time to time. You'd be surprised. It, it, it's amazing to me how how often when we talk about something, we get someone who is like a a principal in a in, in some of these things. And we got an email from somebody claiming to have had a relationship with Nick Fuentes. And that person provided substantial evidence that they had a, a relationship with Nick Fuentes. And it came in the form of letters that were written to this person and then comparing it to publicly available handwriting that Nick Fuentes had and photographs of these two people together when they were younger. And um, I don't know if this is actually true, the relationship they had or not uh, necessarily. It certainly appears that way. And I didn't really spend that much time about it because, you know, my policy back in the day was, I think it's okay to out somebody if they are um, using their position, particularly a politician, but I guess it would go with like a media figure to um, promote homophobia and to materially impact the lives of people. And this clip that we have now is the first clip that I've seen since that time where Nick Fuentes is talking about um, gay people and uh, how they should be shunned. And uh, so, I don't know, maybe we'll save that. So that information that, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> the information you had is pertinent. Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll go back and spend some, a little more time to uh, really uh, solidify that. But I'd be curious how Nick Fuentes would react to something like that if that uh, came out. But I don't know. Um, who can say? Who can say? Who can say? Um, let's do some uh, I am's here. Eli from Jersey. I'll never live down the fact that my dad wrote Ainsley's first on air package at Fox. Wow. Well, now, now you won't. Uh, treaty for colonizer. The squad got grief over their fears on Jan 6, yet Pence's security was scared. Yeah, indeed. Tomo Link, happy casual Friday, folks. Hope everyone is doing okay in the heat. Further to my complaining about the political situation here in Britain, the Labor Party is criticizing the Tory leadership candidates' spending plans with the old, how are we going to pay for it? It's like Labor Party is trying to out out the Tories. Hope the centrists are happy to have their party back. In all seriousness, in the run-up to the 2029 general election, MPs from the right wing of the Labor Party endorsed Boris Johnson. They preferred Boris Johnson over poor people being treated like humans, beings mm. for a change. Dear Devil, please read the I Am for Autumn Leaves, uh, our most ban-happy mod, and we'd like a belated show far for another mod. M. Toussaint's birthday was yesterday. Ah, okay. Constant State of Missouri. As someone from Josh Hawley State, it's immensely satisfying to see his cowardice and the lie uh, of all of it to put on full display. I, I do, do. Did he go on? Do we have him? Did he go on Hannity last night? Uh, he Let was on Tucker, I think. Um, but I don't know if he even addressed it at all. What is interesting is I saw uh, Hawley is either up for re-election re in 22 or 24. I'm not sure which one. Um, if we I, don't I think mind it would be looking at 2024. Up. Um, but his prime, his opponent, uh, I guess his Democratic opponent was tweeting about it. Oh, um, maybe he is up. Uh, for I think he might be up in the in the fall. And I don't think he's going to get unseated in Missouri. But every um, anybody who's running against Hawley should take a page out of Fetterman's playbook and literally make so much of your campaign about the jogging. It I mean, should be yeah, absolutely. It, it should be like I'm running for Senate. So isn't Josh Hawley. Here's a yeah. clip. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, Josh Hawley's sort of jogging for Senate uh, or running. Oh, he's from up in 26. Senate. Oh, then I'm. Uh, yeah, I, I, that might be for Roy Blunt, who's retiring the the Democratic nominee. Oh, for, um, all right. Never see. mind. Yeah. Well, that's that was what, confusing. Yeah, that sounded surprising to me because he beat McCaskill in 2018. Yes. Yes. 
time is a flat circle. Um, Colin from Nebraska. Sam is using Z bio, uh, biopics before he goes to his buddy Chuck Schumer's mansion. <laughs> the Z biotics link is broken. Mm. It's fixed now. It is fixed now. Okay. Clown shoe Mike. Uh, abiotic sounds good and all, but I think the marketing needs help. I'm going to buy a podcast uh, supplement. I want to call it alpha liver or something. <laughs> <laughs> Two kids in a trench coat. Um, Michael Sam impression. I need Z-Biotic because if I ever have one drink, my tummy is upset for the entire next day. I need at least two 20-minute poops minimum. Um, Pramilia uh, Jayapal. Uh, Pramilia. No, just Pramilia. Uh, read them. Autumn uh, leaves. I am, for God's sake. I did. Pitch uh, paint chip ta taster. Half the money you get on the Z-Biotics uh, sponsorably from Matt, it sounds like. Now we're getting to the down to the wire in the midterms. Dem needs to start looking for a quick and easy win to motivate um, uh, voters. They probably think the January 6th committee will be enough, so we'll probably have to bully them into doing something. But I think the scheduling marijuana and pardoning nonviolent offenders like Biden promised, you could really add some momentum. Uh, I know it's not prevalent in the public's mind right now, but he could do the executive action. Um, the, you know, I, I, I don't. I mean, I, I, I think that that Biden should do that. I think he should also cancel student debt. I don't know if it is um, necessarily would necessarily help, you know, pre-election. I, I would do that, you know, just after the election, frankly. But um, because it feels like Biden is sort of distinct from Democrats in what's going on here. And I, I don't know. For now. Yeah. For now. For now. I mean, anyways. in in the midterms, that's like a very, I think, lucky dynamic. But if he's on the ballot in 24, that's. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. And I think after that, he should be just doing it, period. Um, but I guess my point is, is that I wonder if there if, you know, keeping Biden out of the news is not a bad idea at this juncture. I, I also, I had a random conversation at, in a bar actually with somebody who uh, was very political, but heard me talking uh, with the person I was with about politics and started talking to us about it. And this was a person who's not super political, but also feels super betrayed by Biden's student loan uh, thing. And I think if they do not do something substantial on that, it is going to be, uh, it's going to lose a lot of people, uh, younger people, in the same way that when um, like Nick Clegg of the Liberal Democrats in the UK said um, they're going to uh, uh, remove tuition fees and then failed on that promise, people are going to remember this stuff. And I think there's been Without a lot. Time. There's been a lot of like the sort of like contrarian uh, type of folks saying like, well, maybe like Matt Iglesias, I'm thinking of like maybe it's not a smart idea and this or that. All those people are setting up a Democratic Party for an an incredible uh, failure here. Yeah, and I want to be clear. I, I I think it's absolutely crucial that he does this. Like there, you know, and I think we'll see in August. They're gonna. I, I my guess is they're gonna punt until after the election. Any uh, the the moratorium. It's gonna continue on uh, for the student debt, and then and then it's really good to it. But if you notice, like he got close, like three or four months ago, there was all that talk and the floating of the thing. He might do the $10,000 this week or something. Mm -hmm. And then it just immediately evaporated. And I, yeah. I, I want to be clear on this. I think they need to do this. I am, I am, I am guessing that, um, I am guessing that they are going to, um, not do anything before the election. Yep. I've said that all along. So I win. It's really playing with fire. I think there's like folks in the uh, in DC need to uh, pull their heads out. Yeah, yeah, but they're only concerned with one voter: suburban white people. That's the only thing they're they're concerned. Yeah, I think that about. issue is, is pretty widely spread, though. <laughs> like, I think there's plenty of people in suburbs who are sick of student loans. Too. I agree, well, the but they're, they, they're they only always... they're they're about the January six audience. That's that's the the only people they're really worried about mobilizing right now. They're always afraid of doing something it's just it's just a fear that uh that they're you know that that it's driving it that's it and it's an imaginary cohort of people 